gym stuff on, a hoodie, a dressing gown, tracky bombs over the top of my slippers and I'm still freezing. Uh, we should probably put the heating on, but you know, rising energy costs. Um, I am just doing some work for my ponder and ply business before I start work today. Um, I am working with my test knitters on the Anya scarf. Um, it's going really well, but I'm just making some tweaks to the pattern. I had an idea about putting a tracker in so that you can like with all the like the row numbers and things and details so you can like print it out and tick it off or use like a tablet or a phone and like do it with the pen function. So I'm just, I thought it'd be a really quick job, <laughs> but I keep making mistakes and having to fix it. So um, yeah, I'm working on that at the moment, which is kind of a procrastination to everything else that I need to do, but there you go. Um, I thought we'd open the advent early today, so I have Pigman and Ply advent because I was so excited about yesterday's colour. Um, let me have a look. Today is day seven. Gosh, is that right? 7th of December already. They just keep getting better and better. Look at how beautiful that is. That seems very true to colour, actually. Um, look at all the colours. How does she mix that many colours together and make them go so nicely? Absolutely stunning. Love that. Um, I'm so excited for this wrap. I kind of want to start now. And it does look like the colours are going in an order, but... I've got too much on and I don't want to risk it so I'll have a look when I'm done and I want to pick a main colour to go with all of these um so that's the advent for the day sorry about yesterday's video it's gonna be very light on footage um had a bit of a falling out at home and things were not so yeah I just didn't feel like filming and um, that's the nature of things so um much better now though everything is as fixed as it can be, you know. Um, but yes, that is why yesterday's footage was very limited. Also, I just did lots and lots and lots of work on my day job, um, so there wasn't really anything interesting happening. Um, one thing that I will say is that there are a lot of things coming up, so this first week of December has just been mental because of work, but as I went over yesterday, I think it was yesterday I went through my calendar, I've also put something else in that's really, really exciting. So on Tuesday next week, two vlogmases are going to collide and that's all I'm gonna say. Watch this space. You'll see that on Wednesday, but for me, it will be on Tuesday. Wait and see what secrets I've got in store. I think it's very exciting and I think you might enjoy it. And I'm definitely gonna enjoy it. Um, right, I'm going to make some breakfast before I start work because the coffee and the cold is, and the gym this morning is making me a bit jittery. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to get on with my day, unfortunately. Well, not unfortunately, it's nice to have another day in the world. <laughs> but um, yeah, my work day. <sighs> Corporate day jobs are not the one. I am reevaluating that at the moment. But the problem is, with the cost of living, I can't really afford to take a pay cut and corporate jobs pay better than most other jobs, which is not fair, but it is the way of the world. Um, but yeah, I will speak to you a little bit later. give you a little bit of a summary of what I got for my parents so far because it's a bit more Christmassy. So I ordered these stockings uh, that looked much nicer online and they feel horrible in person but they're pretty. I need to choose one for my mum and one for my dad. There's a reindeer, a snowman and a Santa. I don't know who's getting what yet but this is what all this stuff is going into. So very quickly on Christmas traditions, my parents always do, for me and my two sisters, a Christmas Eve present, which is always pyjamas, 
and stockings and then regular presents. The stockings, we they leave at the end of our beds when we're asleep and then we get them in the morning and we take them into their room and sit on the bed and unpack them, even though all three of us are adults now. So my parents don't normally get Christmas Eve presents and they don't normally get stockings. This year, my idea was to do exactly that. So there are a few other surprises, but I can't say them just in case my sisters watch this. So I'm only gonna talk about what I'm doing for my parents. This isn't everything. I've ordered quite a few more things yesterday, so I'll show you the next batch when they come in and I'll also do a video on when I, I'm gonna wrap everything individually in the stockings. But I thought I'd give you a little look at some of the things I've done. So I'll start with my mum. I got her this mug, tired of a mother, tired as a mother, because I thought it was funny and she's quite like me and likes the retro stuff, so I thought she'd really like that. I got her a little butterfly bookmark. I got her a nice red lipstick. There's a nail varnish in a similar colour coming, but it hasn't come yet. I got her a little badge that says Mama, because I call her Mama whenever I talk to her. I'm like, hey, Mama. I don't really call her anything else. Um, I got her, this is really cool, a love bomb. It looks like a grenade, but it's got seeds in it, and it's uh, so you can plant <laughs> seeds in your garden. Um, that one, I think, is really fun, and she loves gardening. I got her little keyring that says I love you cherry much because she loves all things cherries and was thinking about getting a cherry tattoo so she loves that quirky style. Um, I got her a Burt's Bees Lavender Hand Cream. I got her this which I'm going to open very carefully so I can stick it back down. Some of these things are wrapped enough for me to not have to do them. And my mum's name is Lisa and it's a, mi a personalised mirror, like for your handbag. Um, okay. And then lastly, like I said, other things are coming, but these are, this is what I've got so far. This is one of the, like, the bigger bits. I got her this um, gold-plated necklace that says, you are my sunshine. Because when we were little, my mum always used to sing that song to us and she has a picture of it of all the words of the song on the wall. So that just made me think of her. And like I said, there's a few like little bits coming and I still want to get a couple more bits, but I'll show you those in another batch. My mum's very easy to buy for. I could buy hundreds of things and have no issues. My dad, as with most men, is very difficult. But this is what I've managed to do so far. Funnily enough, I have nine things for each of them on the table. I don't know that, it, that I've got an even amount of things coming, but I've got a glass that I got uh, engraved to say daddy's beer, because I call my dad daddy. <laughs> yes, I'm five. Uh, I also got him a bookmark and it's all the little books. I thought it was really cool. I got him those socks I showed you the other day, Express Your Elf, because it's a bit silly. I got him some fancy chocolates that look like Brussels sprouts because that's just my dad's humour. There's also something in the fridge that's his. I bought him some really fancy cheese that's flavoured like roast dinners because they're his favourite food. Um, I got him, this is again one of the nicer bits. I got him a like leather bracelet but I also got it engraved and it says love you daddy on the inside as that's why I got engraved. I had to read it because it's so long ago I don't remember. Um, then I got him this little keyring that says about family I like branches on a tree we all grow in different directions but our roots remain the same. My dad is very sentimental so he'd love something like that. My and no. Um, I also got this as a bit more of a fun present. Dad of girls, hashtag outnumbered. Um, he's got three daughters and a wife and all the animals we've ever had have been female so we always joke about him being outnumbered. He's also grew up um, living with his mum, his dad wasn't around as much, and he's got two sisters, so we just joke about him always being surrounded by girls. And then this one came today. Um, my mum, it's a secret, got him a phone for Christmas, um, so I bought a phone cover. Uh, it's like a little leather phone cover. He likes the ones that cover the screen, and I think you can use it as a stand or something, so that's right up his street. Some more pretty, my dad, I think my mum, she likes like the girly treaty things and my dad likes practical or sentimental. I also ordered him, it's a bit of a splurge, in-ear wireless 
headphones because he likes to train at the gym and he's recently said that his big over ear headphones he gets too hot and sweaty and the ones with the wire you always have to do something with your phone and I have a pair and I love them so I thought that would be perfect and I've also got some colognes coming for him. Maya will you behave? She's being very naughty because she wants attention. Um, I've also ordered my mum her favourite perfume to go in and I think I might look at like a little vintage bracelet or bangle or something. But yeah, that's what I got so far. I hope you enjoyed that little insight. Just about to leave to go on our afternoon walk, heading over to the same park we've been going to the last few days. I'm quickly eating her hair. Mash is crying because she wants to go. She's been absolute shit all morning. I had a really big team call and I literally had to have her on my lap holding her still whilst I was talking because she was trying to dig up the carpet in our rented flat. I don't know what's going on. She's acting like a puppy again and she's been a lot better recently. But she's testing my patience, so I'm going to go tie her out over the fields now. I'll speak to you guys in a bit. <laughs> eyed me suspiciously because I pointed at the camera but she's been out snoring. Huge run around at lunch today over the woods like really sprinted around so we tied her out for once so she's less up to mischief as she was earlier. I'm doing a bit of Christmas shopping and a bit of knitting um, and enjoying this downtime. While she's sleeping I feel like a mum with a little baby. <laughs> right so I just had a shower after work just to freshen up a little bit, moisturise my skin clean off the day. It's been a bit stressful today. Does anyone else do that? I feel like showers are really therapeutic. I'm making Rob and I dinner. Um, quite often we will make our own dinners just because obviously I don't eat meat and he does so. But he quite often likes to join in when he can't be bothered to cook, he'll eat while I'm eating. But unfortunately I can't do it the other way around. Um, I'm literally making the quickest dinner ever. It's lentils, a pasta sauce and pasta to make some kind of bolognese type thing. Usually I'd make my own sauce from scratch, but Vlogmas has taken out of me along with my busy work and I've got a lot of other things going on. I've got pattern and testing. Um, yes, it's just not practical for me right now. If you guys have got any really quick, healthy, delicious, vegetarian friendly recipes, um, please share them. Let me know what you like to cook for dinners. Like, give me some ideas because I keep making the same things and I'd like to make something a bit different. But this is what I'm making. Looking yummy. I'm gonna just dump all the pasta in there when it's done. Add some cheese on top and we're good to go. So, the list. Five sleeves, two necklines, one scarf, and one now finished cow. We can bring that total of five sleeves to three. <laughs> I'm so happy! Do, 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 do. These sleeves are done. That is a hell of a lot of ribbing. But they're done. They're done. All this sweater needs now is a neckband. So we're now down to three sleeves, two neckbands, one scarf. We're getting there, people. We are getting there. Slowly, slowly. Yay! <laughs> 